Today on the Home Tip Show, we're working outside. We'll be replacing this 15-year-old deteriorating bug-filled original porch light with this new beautiful aluminum and glass outdoor hanging pendant light. That's right, we're upping our exterior lighting game today on the Home Tip Show. Let's do it. Okay, first step is we're gonna clean all the bugs and spider webs off of the uh, light that we're removing. Just because if you know me, you know that I don't like spiders or bugs that bite or really anything that could hurt me in any way. So we'll clean those all off, brush it up, get the screw holes clear. Screw number one. Screw number two. And let's see if that will slip off of there. All right, the cover has slipped off. And that's what was inside. Mmm, yummy. All right, we'll take out these bulbs, one which, of which was already blown. These are 60 watt equivalents. All right, looks like next step is I've already verified powers off. Uh, next step is to remove this center a screw here, our nut. I'm not sure which one it is yet. We'll see when we get it out. And that allows us, oh, and of course it's not painted. That's just wonderful. Because this means I'm gonna have to paint this exposed drywall area for a couple reasons. First, and most importantly, for aesthetic reasons, it's just gonna look bad if I don't because the new fixture is smaller. The second reason is the front porch, of course, is an exterior area and the paint helps protect the drywall from the elements. The next step is to unhook the wiring by removing the wire nuts. Please make sure the power is off before you do so. Well, we're in luck. I was able to find some of this paint, brand and color, at the local Sherwin-Williams store. But because I want to wrap up shooting this video today, I don't have time to wait for the ceiling paint to dry. So I plan to paint it at a later date. The new fixture's top cover can be easily removed, so I won't have to take the fixture back down to paint the ceiling area. Okay, well, let's see if we get lucky. Uh, here is a, here is the bracket that came with the, with the new light. And it looks identical. So hopefully we won't need to use that. We can just unscrew the center piece here because it's not, plastic line because cord will have to come up through it. Put our new one on. Until it's a different color, but yep, the threads line up perfect. Screw it up there tight, nice and tight. Now until I know for sure how much I need to adjust this, I'm just gonna, just gonna leave it hand tight for now, but I will snug those down later. So we got lucky. We need to thread the wire up through every other link in the chain. So let's get the first one, hit the second one. If we can just do it this way. I'll go into fast forward mode so you don't have to watch this process. After you have the wires threaded the length of the chain, do not trim the wires or the chain until you are 100% sure you have the fixture hanging at the correct level, and you've allowed for the necessary wire lengths to make your connections within the ceiling box. This is because if you trim the wires too short, you may not be able to extend them without replacing the wires in their entirety. You can't have exposed wire nuts within the length of the chain. In addition to the safety concerns that this brings, it's also a code violation and it wouldn't look good. Next, I install the ceiling cover nut and the ceiling cover onto the chain. These need to go on the chain now because they can't be installed after the fixture is up. Next, you'll wanna install the nut and the lock washer, followed by the top mounting link.
Next, I've hung the lamp from the quick link in order to complete the wiring and install the ceiling cover. Feed the wires up through the hollow screw at the top of the chain and into the wiring box. Leave the wire long enough that it extends down six inches from the bottom of the wiring box. This will give you plenty of wire to work with while you complete your connections. Remember, don't trim your wires or the chain until you're sure you have selected the proper height for the fixture. This edition of the Home Tip Show was sponsored by Inlight, makers of high quality lighting products for the home. The light and compensation was provided. Next, slide the ceiling cover and the ceiling cover nut up the chain and hand tighten the nut until snug. Don't over tighten the nut because it could damage the ceiling cover. And that completes our porch ceiling fixture replacement project. Now that I've replaced the porch center fixture, a later project is to replace the two fixtures on each end of the porch with exterior ceiling fans. And moving on to our final ratings. From an ease of assembly perspective, this light is relatively easy to assemble, but I encourage you to read and follow the installation instructions very carefully. If you miss a step or don't read the instructions in full, you may find yourself backtracking in your installation. Additionally, you will need some tools such as a voltage detector or meter, wire strippers, pliers, and a Phillips screwdriver. Thus, I've rated the assembly at four stars out of five. In the quality category, as with all Enlight products we've reviewed on the Home Tip Show, this is a high quality product that you won't find in most of your big box brick and mortar stores. It's manufactured from 95% aluminum, iron, and seated glass, so it will last for a very long time. If you're eco-conscious, rest easy as this product is highly recyclable. I rated quality at 5 stars. As for durability, the die cast aluminum body ensures durability as it's rust free to withstand harsh outdoor environments. It is wet location rated and can be installed in both covered and uncovered areas, such as a porch or pergola. From a styling perspective, this light shade has a clear seated glass design paired with a meshed iron underneath to create an artistic lighting effect. It has a unique look which makes it stand out amongst other outside pendant lighting fixtures. From an overall value perspective, priced at $70, Considering the quality and styling you are receiving, this is an excellent value. The fixture uses standard E26 base bulbs at up to 60 watts incandescent equivalent and can take most types of bulbs including LED, CFL, halogen, and of course incandescent. I would have given this light 5 stars in the category of value, but the light bulb is not included with the package so I've dropped it to 4 stars. However, this provides the ability for you to buy the type of bulb you want. So I recommend buying a 60 watt equivalent LED 2700K Edison bulb. This is the exact bulb I used in the video and produces a warm traditional Edison bulb type look. Anything above 3000K in color will produce a more white or sometimes even bluish hue, which I personally am not a fan of. 2700K seems to be the sweet spot for me from a lighting color perspective. This gives us a very good Home Tip Show final rating of 4.6 stars out of 5. This fixture is available on Amazon.com for $70. If you're interested in ordering it, it can be purchased from the Home Tip Show channel by clicking its Amazon product link in the video description. Thank you for watching the Home Tip Show. If our videos have helped you do something, provided entertainment, or increased your do-it-yourself skills, you can show your appreciation by 1. Hitting the subscribe button for a free subscription to the Home Tip Show YouTube channel, and 2. Liking my channel by hitting the thumbs up button. 
You can also ring the bell button, which will give you a reminder within YouTube when I publish new videos you may be interested in viewing. If you have any comments, questions, or input on this video, or would like to make suggestions for future videos, leave a note in the comments section or email me at thehometipshow at gmail.com, all one word. I read and respond to all comments and emails. See you next time!